key roles of product management obviously is to be kind of the, 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 the person that translates from customer needs to engineering and vice versa. Um, you know, however, in both WhatFix and MoEngage's case, you know, while there, there are some Indian customers, many of the customers are abroad, right? And you, you know, where you guys sit here in India. So how do you, uh, how do you think about that core role of really understanding customer needs, you know, especially when many of the customers are not, you know, in HSR rail, you know, they're sitting in San Francisco or, or other parts of, you know, Asia, perhaps in, in more engaged case. I think, uh, I think, uh, honestly, uh, we, we never face that uh, problem as much in terms of seeing the end, the role of a product manager is to kind of, as you mentioned, or rightly pointed out, keeping the customer in the center, understand what exactly do they need, and then kind of uh, doing a cross check with whether it is having the business value for us also or not and you kind of think about hey, whether we should kind of build it or not. So in such cases I think uh, obviously we have customers across the globe and uh, it was challenging at first because uh, given that you are born and brought up in a certain culture you kind of have those biases, you kind of have those language, you kind of have those uh, attitudes towards doing things. I think that probably would be the uh, I would say correction that we would have to probably make in the starting in terms of saying that hey what do how do this, these personas are different to what probably we are selling to until now, right? Or what is the preferences of these customers in comparison to what we have been selling to until now, right? But apart from it, I think uh, the exploration or discovery process is largely the same, which is if you set up a process where the customer voice automatically comes to you and then you kind of go about and do a double click on that and do a discovery on top of that, I think uh, that's where the truth evolves. And once you understood the truth, then probably you have higher chances of creating a successful product. Obviously, having said that, you will still make the mistakes, which is part of the game. Okay. Sanjay, what do you understand, uh, you are trying to understand is uh, being not close in proximity to customer. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, how do you really fill that gap? Uh, so as Nelin said, right, uh, we never really face this as an issue from the very start. And uh, the processes evolved of how we created more opportunities to talk and understand the customers. And we were very early stage when we had like very few customers. I think at that point in time, jumping on a call with them at everything that probably gives us an opportunity to understand them better. That was something which PMs would directly do. We were not many, maybe one or two PMs at that point in time. Slowly as teams started scaling, we had customer success who became the person who will represent the customer. Uh, but of course, uh, they are still not the customers, right? They are just translating those requirements still, but you would use them to go and reach out to customers. But we definitely never felt that a real need of being in close proximity, though we encourage PMs now to go travel, see how the customers are working, talk to them. Uh, we have user group meetings that we definitely do across the year where we try to meet the customers, showcase them the product. Uh, but definitely those are like, we are trying to augment but uh, uh, not necessarily they are the ones who are driving understanding the customers.